Hey guys, today I want to give you a review on the Eakin Cohesive Seals. Um, most people refer to these as Eakin Rings, so I'm going to explain a little bit about what these are and how they work. So Eakin Cohesive Seals, aka Eakin Rings, are barrier rings. Now it's one brand of many barrier rings, but it happens to be a very popular brand. Um, I know that when I was a new Ostomate, I kept on hearing you know, about this thing called Eakin Rings, Eakin Rings, Eakin Rings, and when I finally looked into it, Lo and behold, there was a product called Eakin, and they make something that looks like a ring. So um, what these are meant for is primarily to help prevent leaks. And a lot of ileostomates, especially ileostomates with uh, liquid output, will know very well that leaks are a big problem. And uh, trying to prevent that is kind of at the top of the priority list, because if you don't, you get very short wear times, you can get um, skin damage, you can just have a very miserable time. So a product like this is meant to help with that. And um, I've been using Eakin rings uh, myself for quite a long time. I don't necessarily use them to prevent leaks per se, but what I do is I use these um, to help heal the skin around my stoma and to help keep it protected. Because I find that if I tend to go three or four days uh, with my wafer, and it really doesn't matter what brand of wafer, I just find that after about three or four days, uh, the wafer starts to break down, my skin gets you know irritated, and um, it just becomes uncomfortable. I'd rather just take care of that problem, and that's where I use the Eakin rings. So Eakin rings come in these little individually sealed packs. Now it's nice that they come individually sealed because you can travel with these uh, without having to worry about them sticking on stuff and um, they stay fresh, meaning they won't dry out when they're in these packs. But they come in various shapes and sizes and thicknesses. So this particular one that I'm using is the thicker version. Uh, they have one that's about half the thickness. And uh, one of the really nice things about these is that you can actually break them apart and use, you know, however much you want. So what I tend to do with these thicker rings is I'll split it in half, I'll roll it up in my hand, and then I'll form another ring, and then I'll apply that to uh, my wafer generally. Um, it's a way to save a bit of money, but it also just allows me to use the amount that I need rather than going excessive. And because I can use this essentially twice, because I'm using half each time, uh, it really extends the life of the product and it um, gives me more bang for my buck. The way you tend to use these particular rings is that you actually have two options. So you can either put these directly to your skin, right around your stoma, or you can apply them directly onto your wafer. Now, I prefer to put them on my wafer. I just find that I get a better uh, seal that way. Um, you can, you know, mold it on there, make sure that everything is really tight, and then apply it. And then uh, after that, I, I typically just apply some pressure, usually for about 60 seconds or so. And that really helps everything to kind of seal into place and uh, really bonds well to the skin. Now, the way these rings work is that when your output hits them, they swell up. And that swelling action forms a really nice seal around your stoma. And some people might be alarmed by that. And, you know, if you're wearing a clear pouch, you can see um, the swelling take place. Uh, it does happen pretty gradually, but when you do notice it, it can be a bit alarming, but uh, that's perfectly normal. That's exactly how this product is intended to work. The fact that it does swell means that it is absorbing uh, fluids, liquids, and it will start breaking down. So my time with uh, Eakin rings and really any barrier ring tends to be inconsistent. So they tend to break down more often on one appliance change and not very much on another. Uh, but that's not to say that overall uh, I get very good results with them, especially when uh, my goal is to give my skin a substrate to heal under. And uh, it does a very good job with that. Now, one of the really big issues that I think anybody who's ever handled um, any kind of barrier ring really, but specifically these, is that they're extremely sticky. And while that works really well for keeping your appliance uh, on properly and you know creating a nice seal, it does create challenges, A, when you're changing your appliance, because if you're manipulating that ring, your hands will become sticky. And I find that you can't really wash that residue off um, easily. But it also creates an issue when you're removing it. And it doesn't remove cleanly. It will come off kind of like sticky gum. Um, 
that may not be a big issue and, and most of the time uh, most people will just you know remove what they can and then just stick another appliance on there but for me because i have a lot of abdominal hair and i do shave uh, the skin around my stoma with every appliance change i really have to make sure that 100% of that residue is removed. So that requires a bit of extra work. I do use some uh, barrier wipes, or sorry, I should say, I do use some of the adhesive remover wipes uh, to get rid of that. But it really does have to be pretty clean if I'm shaving or else, um, because I use an electric shaver, it kind of clogs everything up and it doesn't work very well. So that's probably the... Um, the worst thing that I can think of with these rings, but you know, it just kind of comes with the type of product that it is. This happens with most barrier rings out there, especially the hydrocolloid types that are um, very sticky. They're more like a, uh, like a drier Play-Doh. So that's kind of how you work with them, but they're extremely sticky, unlike Play-Doh, which tends not to be. So, you know, the product works well. It does do what it's supposed to do. And it is also a product that is free of animal ingredients. So it's another reason why I tend to use this brand over some other brands. So overall, um, I would definitely give this product a try if you're looking for a barrier ring or a barrier ring sounds like something that you might need. Uh, you can probably get samples sent to you either through Convitac or by contacting your local um, Ostomy medical supplier. And um, yeah, give it a shot. I mean, you may have to experiment a little bit with putting it on. There may be a, a, a slight learning curve because it is a, a pretty unique product. But once you've gotten the technique uh, down pat, then I think you're going to have a lot of success with it. So give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think if you have tried it. So I'll see you next time in a new video and I hope you have a great day. Take care.